Okay, so if you want to force students through the module requirements in sequential order, you go into your edit, you have to have set up all of the requirements, right? So you go through and you set what the requirements are, which I showed you in a previous video. In my case, it's every single one of the seven things that are in my module. So they've, they're viewing four pages and they're submitting a discussion survey and assignment. Now, if I want them to go through that in sequential order, I check this box. Let me update the module and you will see what that looks like when I click over to student view. In student view now, I only have access to the very first page of my module. I can't skip forward into the other things inside this module. I also can't get sneaky and say, oh, I'm going to go to assignment one over here and get to it anyway. No, it says this assignment is part of the orientation and hasn't been unlocked yet. So it tells me that there's requirements that need to be completed before I can go and access this assignment one. So. I go into assignment or orientation overview. I view this page, so that should be marked to complete now. This should also be marked to complete. So notice it lets me go forward because that's the next sequential page of the module, right? There's my discussion. So I'm going to reply to this, which I've done a million times. Post next, right? And as I'm going through the pieces of this module, let me go back home. It's checking off the completed items in this uh, in the module. But I still, you can see, I still don't have access to be able to skip around. So that's what it looks like when you check the box that says um, in your, now I just clicked over to, to teacher view again. That's what it looks like when you check the box that says students must move through requirements in sequential order. Thanks for watching.